I think this is video number six on after performing the vacuum from the previous videos. And now I'm about to recharge it for testing only. In the last video, we used the ultrasonic leak detector to find the leak on the rubber hose. What we cannot hear, cannot see, there was no oil stain. It doesn't leak under vacuum, it only leaks under pressure. So right now we have it in a vacuum of 641 microns. I have the low side off. I turned off the, the vacuum. Let's turn off the vacuum pump. And we're gonna fill it up with 900 grams because we're only testing it because we do have a leak in the system. But we just don't wanna fix the leak. We wanna know if the compressor is working, the electric fan working, the fluid driven thermal fan clutch is working, the expansion valve and all the electric controls. Let's go, turn it on. Uh, we are at zero, let's zero it out. It's a little windy here. So uh, zeroing it out isn't working. If I wanted to do this precisely, I would move the vehicle in the shop out of the wind. I got a little bit of wind and that's why we see the 10 grams going up and down, 20 grams, 40 grams. That is all happening because there's a little bit of wind. You could see the plastic moving a little bit and that throws the time, but I don't care because it's only for testing. This was R12, it's uh, 975 grams and i'm only going to put 900 grams in there so i don't care if i'm plus or minus 10 or 20 grams let's open it up we're at zero about one two there we go open and now our refrigerant is going into the system because all i want to do is do a leak check on this one more time with refrigerant in it after the compressor is running um make the high side lines hot the low side lines cold get the expansion of the rubber and metal contracting and expanding at different temperatures and that often sometimes causes more leaks after it runs but they don't leak when it's sitting there stagnant so we're at uh 700 come on focus 790 grams i'm going to stop it right there that's good enough for testing so let's turn off the refrigerant Okay, refrigerant is off and I stopped at 900, 970 grams. What did this call for? 975. Yeah, 975. And, um, you know, Apple really sucks. It really is not that great of a camera. Um, so I'll turn off the high side here too because I don't want high pressure refrigerant backing up in my manifold. Get all that oil in there right now. We'll start this up. And uh, now what I should do, but I'm gonna, in, in the interest of time, I'm gonna skip. Usually what I do before I started at standing rest pressure with no temperature, I break out the refrigerant leak detector and I go over it before I start it. Then I start it, get things hot, get things cold, and then go over it again. Because you can have some leaks at standing pressure and temperature and the leaks stop when you turn the car on. And then you can have other leaks that happen only when the car is on and they stop when you turn the car off. So let me get this thing up and running and neutralized and uh, maybe I'll start my leak detecting before I start the next video. Um, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do actually right now. I'm gonna get my leak detector and look for a leak under the dash before I make the video of this thing starting up. So I'll stop right here. I'm gonna go get my leak detector, shut off this video, and there'll be another video after this.